Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with another TTM Mail Week recap episode. This is episode 870, and I have a few TTMs to share with you, and a eBay pickup, as long as with a uh, pack opening, um, which we'll actually do first. So, um, got this pack of 21 uh, tops opening day with seven cards. Uh, my mom actually got this for me. Um, she works for American Greetings as a vendor, so she does like the greeting cards. And since Target is no longer going to be selling sports cards soon, uh, she picked up one. Uh, she was just thinking of me, so uh, she said there was two left, so she got she was just able to get one. Um, so yeah, I guess I figured we'd open it up on camera and see. So shout out to mom for uh, thinking of me. So let's see what we got. And that's how we'll begin the video. It's really cool if we pulled auto. Now I have not gone to the store and bought any packs since 2012. So um, it's been a long time. So first off the bat we got Yadier Molina. That we can add to the Molina collection. We also got a Kyle Seeger. We can add to the Kyle Seeger collection because I recently added him. Got a rookie card of Mr. Tristan McKenzie. Might be pretty good. Uh, we got the San Diego Padres opening day with Tatis and Jerks and Profar. But definitely can add that to the Tatis portion. We got Jorge Soler. Pretty good player for the Royals. Kind of was given up on by the Cubs and is doing pretty well in Kansas City. We got a Casey Mize rookie card who's shown some promise. And we got Manny Machado. So that's actually a. Uh, Pretty decent pack of stars, so we can add that to the Manny Machado uh, section there. So I don't have a 2021 Tops Machado. So very neat. So thanks, Mom, for that. And uh, yeah, it's kind of sad to see that Target's not going to be selling anymore. But I mean, a lot of people did it to themselves by acting stupid and uh, fighting with other people. So I mean, can you blame them? Uh, I can't. I mean, people just got absolutely nuts for them. And then there's just, you know, us that just, we want to do it for fun or get it for our kids or something. Um, like, legitimately. But then people are just, you know, fighting over for to make a profit. So, that's going to happen, unfortunately, with that kind of stuff. So, that's my take on that. It's my mini rant. So, <laughs> um, we do have a failure. Uh, I tried sending to Brad Arnsberg. Uh, accidentally blocked out his address, so he can't see what I used. But uh, I was just getting the habit of signing. Um, he actually might be um, a pitching coach right now. Maybe that's why it didn't work. Because somebody just got back from him. So I thought that was kind of weird. So yeah. Um, looks like I can kind of read through. So don't send to the Cave Creek, Arizona address. So you will not be able to get him. Okay. Um, I guess. I mean, I do have some TTMs here. Maybe we'll do the purchases first. Um, this is an autograph purchase from Zane Savage or from his eBay uh, store, Bargain History. I will try and leave links down to not only his YouTube channel as well as his eBay store as well. I'll try and remember to do that. Um, maybe potentially I'll leave a card in one of the corners for you if that's easier for you to uh, click on. But for the most part, it will be down in the description below. I bought a couple autographs from him that I thought were interesting. And uh, he was having a kind of a sale on, so I think, I think I got them all. So this first one is pretty cool. It is a cut signature of Hall of Fame baseball player Johnny Mize, which I don't think I have a Johnny Mize um, autograph in my collection. So I thought that was pretty cool. This was only four dollars. So I know maybe cut signatures, you know, aren't some people's thing, but um, I'm okay with that. And he's got a pretty cool looking display here now. So it's looking pretty good, Zane. Like the extra effort there. Of course, came well packaged and everything. And then next up is one that you're not going to know at all, but it seemed kind of interesting. This is Mr. Patrick Patrick Haddington. He's an English actor. I'll actually look him up. What kind of like intrigued me 
and by almost all the things he actually kind of has to his credit with radio and um, cinema. So I got a ring light in my way and half my screens, so I'll do this as fast as I can. Patrick Haddington, or Wad Waddington, I think, actually. Sorry. I believe, right? It looks like an age, but it's not. So he's born in 1901 in York, England, and died in 1987. But uh, he also did a lot of theater. Um, but uh, some of his better class uh, roles are West End and Patrick, Patrick Hamilton's Rope in 1929. Uh, TV was The Wooden Horse, A Night to Remember in 58, 50. And uh, I could not find anything like if he... Uh, served during World War One or anything like that. That's kind of another reason I was uh, curious to buy it, but I did not find anything on that. So, still pretty cool. Patrick Waddington, old English actor. Um, probably not that many autographs of his out there. So you know, thought that would be a cool, interesting one to add. So Johnny Mize and Patrick Waddington. Then I bought some baseball cards. I was uh, curious to see how much the 1956 Topps Hank Aaron card was going for, and the cheapest I could find in really poor condition was $94. But there was a lot of 1956 Topps a little further down below for $85 with that Hank Aaron and some other ones which are pretty cool cards. They're not in good shape at all, but I figured for the price compared to what the other ones are going for, even in their condition, to me, they were worth it. So, um, for 85 bucks, I bought these guys. Let me know what you think. Did I do good? Did I do bad? They're just going to go in the collection. We haven't bought any vintage baseball cards in quite a while. Looks like he included... So he actually included an extra, which is pretty cool. So that's neat. I'll move the note out of the way. Yeah. Got a 1956 Topps Enos Slaughter that he included. So really, really rounded corners. Um, so not, not going to grade well at all. But... So here's the big one. I'll get the tape off here. I didn't use the blue tape, but that's okay. Um, there's the 1956 Top Tank Aaron. So, not in good shape. Looks like they, maybe they taped it over the wall at some point back a long time ago. As either tape stain or come stain in the back. But, you know, I can say I got one. And, you know, if an opportunity arises in the future, we can always upgrade it. Then we got Warren Giles. Really badly messed up card, missing some paper. We got Eddie Robinson. Who unfortunately, they decided to write their name on the back, but kind of cool. Tell the story. Hank Bauer. No writing on the back of that one. We got Don Zimmer. Really, really badly greased but don't have that one we got moose scour on really badly creased and maybe water damage and we got sandy amorose even worse <laughs> creased and made water damage but very cool honestly in my opinion and then we got bob turley hard throwing right hander for the yankees back in the day really badly creased as well then we got William Harridge. So, American League president. Didn't know those, card, those two cards existed of Giles and Harridge. So, kind of cool. So, let me know what you think. Should I have not have spent that much? I just really wanted the Hank Aaron. And I got it. Plus some extra cards. So, you know. Am I going to sell them or something? No. I'm <laughs> just going to go in the collection. So. My blue screen's been going out. Oh. 
We have a guest. Come on. There you go. Okay. You can't go back in there. All right. He's probably going to be noisy the rest of it. No, it's okay. Yeah. There you go. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. Duke is now released from his little prison. He can be free. He'll probably want back in here in about two more seconds. So let's hurry this up. We got four returns here to open up. First one uh, came back on 515 from Jacksonville, Florida. Looks like they included an extra stamp. And I did send this out in April of this month. You'll probably hear him whining right now. <laughs> he already wants back in. That silly dog never knows what he wants. So we got a former football player for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Buc Buccaneers and University of Alabama, Mr. Eric Curry. He was an offensive lineman. So really cool. Uh, he signed uh, with his NFL number um, with the Buccaneers in the NFL photo and number 80 with Alabama. So pretty neat success there. He did not have to include that second stamp, but... Uh, guess he felt like he should. Uh, next up is coming back from North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Also received this on 515 uh, yesterday. And I sent this in May. Looks like I reused this one. So I sent that this month. So this is a within 15 days success. I think it's probably a two weeks success. I think I sent it on the second. So I thought I would wait before I sent to this gentleman. Because um, was, I was thinking about sending him right around when Texas was having uh, all the power outages and the snow freak snowstorms. Um, now they're having, you know, some problems with the gas and oil, but I um, thought, you know, it's probably now okay to send. So we got former quarterback uh, Stony Case, drafted by the Cardinals, and then kind of moved around a lot in the league. Back up and a few starting gigs, but uh, had a pretty good college career. I don't have his autograph, and uh, thought that'd be a cool one. He has a really nice signature, so thank you, Mr. Case. I do hope you're doing well uh, down there, and you guys were safe during those uh, trying times. Uh, next up, we got back from Augusta, Georgia. They wrote, please do not bend. This also came back yesterday, and this was sent out in December of 2019. So this might be an old... Battle of the Decades request, actually. And it is. Hey, alright, so I wasn't sure this was coming back. So it looks like he's moved, because I think the last time I sent him was in, like, uh, North Carolina, or South Carolina. This is the Refrigerator Perry. So it looks like he's catching up on his mail. I saw uh, some people getting back from him, too, so... Uh, this was when he was the Eagles, towards the end of his career. Um, wasn't the same player anymore, but... Uh, Still a good player, William Perry, the fridge. So, fortunately, I do also have a sign of uh, a photo signed by him, or like the famous photo of him next to the fridge. But the the silver uh, got all scuffed up, so it didn't come through. I did include ten dollars with that one. There was a ten dollar uh, fee, which I think he's at least at ten or fifteen now. And final one for the week. It's coming back from New York, New York. I got this back. Uh, I think it was 513 and I sent it out in March of this year oh, very cool so this is actually gonna be for a couple of them going to autographs for a cure it is from the movie Hocus Pocus uh, she played one of the three witches this is Kathy Najimi uh, she also does a lot of voice acting and a lot of a lot of uh, guest roles and stuff in many shows, but that's pretty cool. And she just signed this one just as her signature. And this one she did inscribe to me, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool shot. So I remember watching that uh, movie as a kid when that came out. Well, I guess I wasn't old when it came out, but I watched the reruns on that one. So. Um, Pretty cool, so that's a nice one for Autographs for a Cure. Uh, maybe I'll give the third photo to somebody else. Uh, we'll see. Um, other than that, that is it. Um, house is coming along great. Um, 
still on target for June, end of June, middle of June maybe. Uh, got my truck paid off, um, so we don't have a truck payment anymore, so that's awesome. Uh, Debt free for at least a month, and uh, just trying to catch up on some videos when I can. It's been pretty busy around here, uh, I'm really tired, lots of work, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you have a good week, rest of your weekend. It's uh, Sunday now, I'm a little late, um, but I uh, do hope you guys finish out your Sunday strong. And if you went to church, hope you had a good time at church, and uh, I'll see you guys all next episode. Bye.